The Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe's plans to explore introducing a digital currency in a phased approach has enthused the market, which sees the currency helping to resolve challenges like high informalization and money supply growth. A CBDC would essentially provide a new method of removing sort of this cash circulation from the system. Zimbabwe currently has almost 90% cash circulation, especially in the informal sector. By introducing CBDCs, we are having this traceable money that is being transferred and it's being transacted at an informal level via these digital wallets. A CBDC will also accelerate financial inclusion. However, the central bank has been urged to ensure that it brings on board private players with the experience and skills in a sector that is characterized by rapid innovation and which requires quick decision making. So they create a new form of programmable money which can allow governments and allow countries to start building different services on top of that. The second aspect of it is to have a localized inclusion model, which means local companies, whether it's local tech companies and local finance companies, are in that conversation. Citizens and, government and, and businesses don't want systems that are imposed on them. They want systems that are able to collaborate with what they're already doing. The central bank says it has undertaken tours to countries that have developed CBDCs. It will soon release a roadmap for the introduction of its own digital currency in a phased manner and will invite members of the public to provide input into that document.